welcome. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. Come on in, it's a little different than <laughs> yesteryear. Usually this place is packed with people for the holiday spirit. This year is a little different, but we want to show you around the residence. Let me tell you a little bit about this house. We had a Governor Baldwin who had served, the state bought it for him, for about $39,000. At 5,000 people came in 1943 to welcome the first governor's residence, and they celebrated this. And it's been the people's house ever since. Normally, there would be thousands of people that would come into the residence over the holidays and enjoy all of the work that's donated. Um, so we wanted to share some holiday joy with you. Here, come on in. We'll show you a little bit of uh, the house. Beautiful Christmas trees we try to tend to have set up in most of the rooms. Um, one lonely present. <laughs> You'll get a kick out of this. A glorious room, wonderful for entertaining. You know, Governor Dempsey, when he was here, he did a celebration of all the uh, African-American artists and brought Marian Anderson, brought W.C. Handy, all came uh, to, this, um, to this room. You know W.C. Handy, don't you guys? Mm -hmm. He's the father of the blues. He did a lot of wonderful songs. No, he didn't do that one. He did St. Louis Blues. That was W.C. Handy. He was here. Jack Kennedy, Eleanor Roosevelt, Lady Bird Johnson. You know this guy, don't you? Mark Twain, Connecticut's own Mark Twain. He moved to Connecticut back when Connecticut was probably one of the wealthiest communities in America. The Wikers had a great story here. When they had first moved in, uh, this place was sort of a shambles again. And uh, he was sitting here with uh, Senator Daniel Inouye. And uh, Inouye, he was making a pitch to Senator Inouye. He said, we need money for our military contractors and our submarine bases. At that moment, a big piece of plaster collapsed from the ceiling, landed right next to Daniel Inouye, and he said, Governor Weicker, I think you need money for plaster in your ceiling, not just your submarines and contractors. So that's a little bit of the history of this room where a lot of um, politics takes place. And this is the children's tree, and um, it's really fun because if you look at the ornaments, they're made by children all over the state. Last year we ran a competition um, and asked children uh, to make ornaments for the tree. And they sent them to us by the hundreds, uh, and we have many of them on the tree this year. Many, many years the governor had that desk and where a lot of business was done. Uh, we use it for relaxation. We changed the mood of it a little bit. Um, rather than Connecticut Impressionists, we have uh, Bob Dylan and Jim Morrison um, just to welcome you. Uh, this is something that Andy and I um, brought with us. It's a study by Norman Rockwell and it's called The Political Debate. And he's for Dewey and she's for Truman and you can see the gender gap goes back many, many generations. So now we're in the dining room um, and this holiday season is all about supporting local business. Um, and one of those wonderful local businesses which has been in Connecticut for over a hundred years is Lux Bond and Green. They have done an incredible job of donating their services and materials and decorating this amazing room. Um, and while we won't be experiencing it this year with 20 people around the table, um, you can enjoy <laughs> how beautiful it is and next year we will be back. And they're clever because we, since we can't invite you, I see that a Rudolph, Vixen, Comet, <laughs> they've all been invited. That's the name tags. We have our favorite Christmas movies. so Ned, like some of these more than others, but <laughs> Love Actually. Yeah, I was a big fan of White Christmas. My kids saw that two or three times. They uh, decided we should move on to Love Actually, starring Hugh Grant. Both of which have a Christmas theme. A little more embarrassing to watch with your mother-in-law. <laughs> this is the sunroom, and Ned and I have breakfast every morning in this room. And it's a really you know, sort of delightful. You can see actually under Claudia and the Wiker, the entire kitchen in this area was redone. They put in a wonderful skylight, so it's, a, it's just a fabulous way. And we can look out over the city of Hartford and watch the sunrise as you're sitting here. So it, it's pretty magical. And Claudia Weicker had this um, mural uh, put in when they, they were here in the early 90s. It's sort of a fanciful view of uh, old, old Connecticut. 
And one of the games we play is all the governors have their initials stenciled in in different places. So after a couple glasses of wine, that can be quite a challenge. These pieces were contributed by the New Britain Museum of American Art uh, and were done by uh, Connecticut's own Saul DeWitt. So um, it's exciting to have them in the house. Every year since uh, the Wikers started having the big Christmas parties, you'd have the carolers standing up here, hundreds of people there enjoying uh, the holiday spirit. We're going to get back to that sooner rather than later. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. And Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Every year the governor makes a special ornament. This year it's a Christmas ornament and on it it says, stay safe, stay home. Next year we look forward to inviting you all to the residence. We miss you. Thanks for joining us at the People's House. No, we loved having you all here. Have you met my friends, the Snows? Andy thinks he's a little cold. I think he has a warm heart. <laughs> hey, happy holidays to each and every one of you. Next year you're coming here. Yeah, happy holidays.